proud like this, it's great to see this kind of interest in history, even in the dark side of Michigan history. But tonight, we're going to talk about the Purple Gang. And I'm not going to ask the question that I often ask a crowd like this, how many people have read my book. It doesn't matter. Everybody here knows something about the Purple Gang. They got their start on the Lower East Side of Detroit. How many people here are from the Detroit area? How many people here know what Hastings Street was or where it was? <laughs> Hastings Street was a street that essentially was taken out in the 50s and early 60s by I-75. The street ran north and south from Jefferson Avenue to Grand Boulevard, a couple miles. And what was then the Jewish ghetto was a couple blocks east and west of Hastings Street. Now, Hastings Street and the area surrounding Hastings Street was a melting pot. There were Syrians, there were Italians, there were all kinds of different ethnic groups of people that lived in that area, Polish people. The Purples really got their start as a group of kids, 18, 20 kids who attended a vocational school called the Old Bishop School. This was one of the Detroit Public Schools' first attempts at trying to do something with delinquent kids, teach them a way to make a living. Half of the school was for delinquent kids, and the other half was for regular students. 